I'm Colin. And I'm Graham. Our lives revolve around sport. Together we've been travelling the world, chancing our way into international sports events and representing Ireland. I'm like a fried chicken. None of these events have ever seen an Irish team before, and boy, are they in for a shock. This is Iceland, the land of ice and fire, and more Miss World than any other country. And it's the home of the world's most ridiculous motorsport, and we're going to do it. Torfera is one of the world's craziest motorsports. It's popular across Scandinavia, but in Iceland, it's a religion. Although we've both written off cars in our youth, we've never competed in an official motorsport event. Yet now, we're going to be representing Ireland in the Icelandic National Championships. This is definitely the most dangerous situation we've ever blagged our way into. Our journey begins in Reykjavik, the capital of Iceland, and, as ever, we blend in seamlessly. We're going to meet Ragnar Roberts, the undisputed king of Torfera. So you're the right guy to teach us, Ragnar? Yeah, but I don't know if you have all the time that it might take. I've been driving this car for 10 years. And but you see, we're starting at a very high level. We're starting, ability. like we're sportsmen. So we don't need much yeah. training? Yeah. yeah, OK, I believe I mean, you it. Could probably <laughs> see I believe it when I see it. See. How about if we bribe you? If I give you a Mars bar, will you help us kind of beat the rivals? You don't have to bribe me for that. You're driving my car. You have to beat them. Oh, I really? like it, I like it. So the wow, pressure, like the pressure's it. on us, eh? Yeah. yeah. So we're driving the best car. We have the best coach. And yeah. we're idiots if we don't win, is what you're saying. Yeah. Ragnar has won every trophy there is, always in his distinctive red monster jeep. But with the arrival of two chancers from Ireland, that may soon change. What is this runoff? It's petrol and are these nitrogen or something? Are these explosive? What are these tanks? Uh, this is the fuel. Benzene. That's the fuel. Yeah, it's the fuel. And what about here's here here nitrous? That's it... nitrous. Yeah. That explodes, right? No, it's just compressed oxygen. It's for the engine to be more powerful. Okay. I don't want to get too political, but it reminds me of a car bomb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it red? Is it? I mean, do you like naughty? No, ah, it's. Danger man. Is it Ragnar red Roberts. because then the blood won't show up? Yeah. <laughs> and, and they can have extra for me, ready. Oh, yeah, they've got your blood type on the side. Yeah. Oh, oh that's, your, that's your blood type. Yeah, everything ready. Practice day. Time for the Irish team to impress the crowd. A heady mix of petrol heads and headbangers. It's a bit kind of Hexville, USA, isn't it? If this was in America, this would be Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's kind of, you know, all the Metallica thing going, isn't there? You see a man, Team Iron Maiden and Hicks. The only thing is, how are we going to bluff them? And the only way to do that is by being able to talk like a petrol head. So what's our key thing? Like, brake horsepower or kick tires? Kick tires. <laughs> Listen, I don't want to be funny, but I hear your engine like it has a little glitch. It's just I'm pretty good at tuning. I think your tuning's out. No? Uh, a little. I just hear a problem with the tuning. <laughs> Do you think it's like you think it's a little out? No? It's uh, probably because it's cold. Oh, because it's cold. Yeah. 
Yeah, I make up excuses too all the time. Well, Graham, what do you think the engine sounded? Everything's okay. Is that all right? Do you mind if we give it a quick inspection? Yeah, it feels all right. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to check the roll bars? I don't know if this would pass the road test at home. We've got the gear, we've got the moves, but we still don't know how to do a loop the loop in a car. Team meeting, guys. Og gott að bila hennar. Palle 1, Lino 5 og Haugur 4. Sorry, do you, can you do that in English? Like, where are we? Do we start? Are we? No, oh, sorry. So we'll look at the courses. Okay. And then you'll get a paper over. Do we have to look at the course? Because it scares us. <laughs> are you Colin? I'm Colin. This is yeah. Colin. No. Have I won already? Colin, I'm on a new. Yeah, I'm number nine. I'm number nine. I'm number nine. <laughs> well, may the best man win. I wish you all a lot of luck. Thanks, Colin. I intend to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> We've been accepted into the race, and now it's just the mere formality of walking the course. So, we won't be, I won't be going down here, will I? Yeah, drive it there. We have I, to... I, I'm driving through there, is it? Yes. What? Yeah. And this, so up, I have to go... this up here might be a little hard. Jeez. And rolling in it, I would like, not like to do. So I have to, uh, holy shit. Hang on. I have to drive around this, drive up that vertical cliff, no, and then uh, do a U-turn. Up, up this one. <laughs> up here? Yeah, up this one. But that's... Yeah. That's exactly like that. You know, right now, this, the fun is stopped. The fun is stopped now. Are they worried the way we're worried? Like genuinely? They are, some of them worried about this water. I wouldn't yeah. want to roll down here. I would stay upside down you, there. Can, you can drown in a foot of water. Yeah. Like if that's a metre deep. Are they going to... Because that, well, like we said, we, we will roll. Will there be yeah. someone on the course telling me, go here, now go here, now no, no. go here? No, no. You have to learn the course. Now we're looking at the courses, now you have to learn them and remember all six of them when you drive. And but especially this one because you're first. They call it the doomsday pit. Even the great Ragnar and his compatriots have grave reservations about toppling over into this deep hole and, if they're worried, we should be bricking it. I've never been in this situation, in this 10 years. On the never car. in 10 years been in your situation. Yeah, How do you so, feel about yeah. that? Well, the fact that I've got to do it first is just ridiculous. Can you not have a word with the organizers? No, no we do. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. It's the, yeah, you don't the, Ragnar, the, Nash, the Nordic champion, has, never faced, has never faced a course like this, and I'm doing mm. it first. But, yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. It's not a good idea. It's no, a terrible it's idea. How are we going to rescue, like, if I'm upside down that, what are we going to do? And stuck in the car, like, what? For what they say now, you have a digger ready with one guy, if the car goes on top, one guy goes down, hooks in it, and the car is up with you sitting in it. So let's think of the logic of that, how long that's going to take. That's probably two minutes, so I need no, 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 no. to... 20 seconds. Come on, a guy jumped down, hooked the car, boom, the crane up. The car is gone. We are rather used to this here, you know. If you're not drowned in the doomsday pit, then there's always the overhangs on the steep cliffs to negotiate. Oh, and should you fail to climb them and roll over, then there's all that nitro just waiting to explode. Not even a third of the way. They will at least go higher than that. You, you just turn here and go up. But that, that is, that's just, that's just a wall. I think we will have harder tracks than this one. This is not that steep. That's not that steep? No. Right. What do you call steep? Maybe that? This is easy. This no. is easy? It's just, I can't comprehend that a car, that is a vertical wall. Like we can't even, uh, we can't even walk across this. <laughs> You've got to admire their trust, haven't you? Yeah, I was just going to say, I think deep down, he probably thinks we're exceptional drivers and yeah, that are bluffing being stupid. Yeah, he probably thinks we're playing the stupid card, but yeah. we're not. <laughs> we're actually just useless.
Ragnar has agreed to give us a quick lesson in his car. This will be Team Ireland's only chance to drive his Jeep before tomorrow's competition. It's rather easy to drive. You need to find the fastest speed to keep all the wheels on the ground, right? Yeah. These guys have been competing for over 20 years. Yet, we've had just five minutes driving experience. Suddenly, the realization that we're about to do ourselves some serious harm is hitting home. What would you take? Would you take, obviously we'll both take 12 to the 12 to go home. We're gonna would you take, take a big Would you take 12 to the 12 with a broken leg or just a broken arm? I'd take a broken arm. At this stage, honestly, yeah, right now. at this stage right now, if I, I could get out 12 to the 12 with a broken arm, I would take that right now. I'll tell you, I would take joint last with you, with a broken arm, and I'll throw in a broken ankle. Graham, look, I spoke to a guy over there about the water thing, and there's a few people who are losing the bottle the same way we are. Well, not as much. But anyway, he said there's going to be a crane in, it'll fish us out. But still, if you think about that, a man's got to jump into the pool, somehow go, where will crane? I put this? And then the crane, he'll do a hand. That still means holding your breath for two minutes. He said, no, 30 <laughs> seconds. Not on your life, that's two minutes. Listen, on a serious note, let's shake hands on this. If I'm in the water, you get in, we're going to know the yeah, same seat seatbelt. Just go straight in, I'll go straight in. If you straight in, get that out, okay? If you, tried you, to take, if you tried to take it off, it takes five minutes to put it on. Will you bring my remains home? Yeah, I'll check on that. Cheers. Very mean for Moy. Yeah. No, this... I don't even like motorsport. <laughs> don't say that too loud. Um, I don't even like motorsport. <laughs> Tomorrow is the biggest test of our sporting lives, throwing a nitrous oxide injected Torfera car at the Icelandic lunar landscape. But first, we need to check out the opposition. Call it. Half step. Half step. Step. Do you think this is a better vehicle than Ragnar's vehicle, the one the Ireland team will be in? Yeah, this one is better. It's better? You, so you're, you, hang on a minute, you're saying that you're going to beat us? Yeah. Hmm. There's no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. I mean, well, how many PS is in this horsepower? It's 520. 520, we only have 400 in ours. Do you think it's perfectly normal to drive up a vertical hill and fall backwards in a car? <laughs> if you do that, you're not going fast enough. Oh, so the trick is foot on fast, the pedal, yeah, go fast. Yeah. So even, like, I know you're my rival, to, I'm gonna get tips from your brother, he's not in the same class. <laughs> so basically the tip is, have some bottle, put your foot on the pedal. Yeah. And even if you think you're going up to God, just keep going, because he's that little bit further away. Yeah. If you're too slow and step on it when you're here, it's you will probably go like this. Oh, so when should I step on it? Well, you didn't tell me this, you sneak. <laughs> so step on it before I hit the lip of the hill. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> It's competition day, and first call is to the event's head of safety. Kind of dangerous, no? What do you do, health and safety? You, what's your objective? People not to die. Not to die? Yeah. Okay. And what kind of controls do you use? Like, do you like plan this out? Like before the event, do you all meet and have a strategic plan about health and safety? No. No, all right. You could limbo under the truck. No? It doesn't need to be so big, it wants to be that big. Yeah. So this car has a personality. Yeah. Okay. Of course it does. What's its name? Uh, choir boy. Choir boy. Choir boy. Yeah. Is that oh that's Kortregen means choir boy. Kortregen. So that's a kind of a hard rocker's name. Yeah. Choir boy. <laughs> what what name do you think our Irish team should be? I mean, this is Team Choir Boy. So what should we call ourselves? You know. I what? saw the Eurovision contest last year. So. <laughs> team Dustin. Yeah. <laughs> team Turkey. <laughs> Just minutes to go before Team Turkey's debut, Ragnar makes some last-minute adjustments. 
and so do we. Ragnar's got to the stage now where he's turned, you know, he's changed. He even says so himself, he becomes a different man. He doesn't eat, for example, during competition. But I think I still want to show him that we got bottle. So look, what I say, foot on the pedal. Let's do it. <laughs> you shitting yourself? Yeah. I just thought it'd be neater in there than in my pants <laughs> at the top of that bit into the water. Graham is on first and, in all probability, will drown in the next couple of minutes. It's time for some gentle words of encouragement. This is going to go horribly wrong. How did they let us into this car? Graham's first drive, and it's a gentle splash through the opening water. But up the hill lies the doomsday pit. Driven on by sheer terror, Graham gives a brilliant first drive with just one small problem. If ever there was a time for a tire kick, this is it. Oh man. First go, we've destructed the indestructible car. Luckily, Ragnar is used to punctures on the loose gravel, and Team Turkey is ready to go again in minutes. The rules are simple. There are six courses, each with a debt-defying obstacle, crashing is optional, and the winner is the driver who completes the circuit in the fastest time. Unfortunately, the boy from Fromoy has a lot to learn. Come on! Come on! This first round is proving tough, even for the professionals. And as predicted, the Doomsday Pit claims its first victim. Graham, that, that could have, that's the guy who followed you. He went straight up the wall and it just went boom, right into the pond. Uh -huh. you, did, you did a fantastic maneuver there, fantastic. He did a great jump, you know? Seriously, the whole crowd were applauding. He did something like a pro would do. But it was good driving. It was Thanks. very good Wasn't driving. Wasn't it fun? Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I, he did I, a beautiful maneuver, didn't breaking he? breaking the car, I'd really enjoy it. it was fun when it goes like it's supposed to. <laughs> Not much fun whenever you end up on your ass like he did, on your head even. Next up is the dreaded water time trial, where jeeps are meant to literally glide across the surface at top speed. It's time for Team Turkey to show these guys what we're made of. Although the engine is flooded, it's a slow climb to the summit, gracefully reaching the poles marking the finishing line. He's saying Colin Carroll with an Irish exhibition of driving which has never been seen before in Iceland. Brilliant. I mean, I finally got my points. By this much, I touched the white flag by that much, so I finally got points on the scoreboard. But as you can see, the whole engine's wet. It's very deep water. The other pros are desperate to beat the Irish effort, but they're falling like flies. Suddenly, we've become the Torfera experts. Basically, if the exhaust goes too low, the engine will just conk out and then you're gone. Now we have another person. The last two people haven't managed to finish this course. I, as I say, I only got there by the end by that much. Um, he's conked out. The carburetor's going to be full of water. That's going to need drying out.
with two outstanding performances. So far, Team Turkey has really made its mark. Ragnar's Jeep is still intact. We're still alive. Plus, we're the talk of the Torfera crowd. Are you impressed with the Irish team? Have you seen the Irish team in action? Have you seen us drive? Yes, I did. What do you think of us driving? Great. Great? Yeah. Great. Have we got bottle? Yes, uh, possibly. We've got bulldozers. We've got bottle. And is that the tennis legend Bjorn Borg? Do you like seeing the car tumble, roll over? Yes, of course, that's, but I like also them to show uh, experience and, and uh, good driving. Was, you haven't seen the Irish team drive yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> you haven't seen no, that? No. no. Don't worry. We'll, we'll restore your confidence in Torfera. Yeah. Yes, I hope, I hope you will. I, oh, I, yeah, I, will. I would like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> the Icelandic Torfera Championships have only two rounds left. And Ragnar has agreed to give us a quick tour of the Wall of Death. Some people could sit on the belly, but I know it won't happen to you. So, tell me now, full throttle. Yeah. Yeah. Full throttle until you get enough speed to go right. over. That's fine, I agreed. Full throttle, enough speed to get over. Let's just walk, walk. Yeah, let's walk the course. So, half throttle along here, and when... Yeah, it's, it's not half throttle, full throttle, it's a speed. There, okay. Just as much speed as you can with the tires on, on the ground. And to the overhang. Yeah. OK. And the likelihood of toppling over? Uh, if you go down here, then you'll have to turn and make the car go right. right Unless you go, yeah, I got you. Yeah, yeah. So it's really grab it there and full throttle. OK. Yeah. Close eyes and Might full Might be throttle. full throttle. No, not closed eyes. OK. Because it looks much easier. Just when we think it can't get any worse, we come on to stage five, the vertical wall of death. And I'm going first on this, so I'm leading <laughs> the way in the whole group. And all the red flags are actually white flags. I think the hardest part of all of this is the very start, because it's very hard to get your head around the fact that you've got to go as fast as you can into what is basically a wall. And Colin Carroll's going first. <laughs> This is roly poly time. Despite the fact that we will surely die, Ragnar's main concern seems to be for his precious Jeep. It's, it's best not to roll over because it takes so much time to fix the car. Nothing will happen to you, but the car might get really damaged. <laughs> yeah, screw you, Colin. As long as you don't wreck the no, car. you're safe. The car is not safe. You're inside the good car. The car, the car the has car some. The best coach. Yeah, but the car has uh, not the best driver, so it might roll over and get damaged. <laughs> the car has got the short okay, end. Start, the start, 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 start. They're waiting. They're waiting. Good luck, Carl. This is it. The single most dangerous driving maneuver known to man. I was getting the hang of it and starting to enjoy it, and then it came to the wall of doom. Luckily, no flames, no broken bones, just one very sore head. While Ragnar does some quick repairs, no other pro has managed to reach the summit, including our great rival, Hafstein. I can tell you one thing. Yes. I don't think I would go up there. <laughs> Nobody's done it yet. What? Nobody. Ne Nobody has been able to do it yet. No. Maybe you were highest. I'm not sure. Did I? Will I get points for getting highest so far? The highest one mode. Yeah, yeah. You will get the highest points. In most sports, rolling down a cliff signifies the end of the race, not in Torfera. Finish me. This is. The cops should be out here and arrest everybody. 
And the funniest thing is nobody kind of goes, oh, this is mad. Oh, look at that. They don't even clap. They just stand there and go, yeah. And everybody finds that OK. I don't. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. I just want to go home. I mean, he must have concussion. I've concussion after driving the last time. Nobody gives a shit. No doctor, no nurse. I'm concussed talking to you. But still, oh, I'm gonna drive up that. And I have to drive up, like, I know you're kind of going, don't drive up it, but you know why? Because Ragnar Roberts, the pro, who's only once in his life come second, I think, is going, yeah, you should clear the mountain. I gotta do it for Ragnar. Oh, Graham! Graham, come back alive! Come on, Graham! In this, the final round, Graham must drive straight up the wall of death. If the car rolls, the damage to driver and vehicle could be catastrophic. survived the most dangerous motorsport in the world with every bone and our dignity intact. We've been going abroad, like in Finland, Norway, Sweden, yeah. competing, but there are always chickens that's going up the hills. <laughs> so starting off, did you think we were going to be shit? And now are people going, oh, they're not? I didn't think you were going to be shit, but I didn't expect to see a lot from you. Yeah. You I, was, I, I, I was most, uh, I was afraid that you would wreck the car and I would be the whole day fixing it. <laughs> All right, well. It's the final It's farewell and good riddance to Team Iron Maiden and the rest of those headbangers. So, what are the overall standings? Got lucky, I think. <laughs> Do we want three shots? Do we want shots? Do we want the results? Results? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was 12 supposed to be here, only 11 showed up. And congratulations with the ninth place. Ninth? Yeah. A ninth out of 11. And congratulations with fifth. Fifth? Wow. <laughs> well done! <laughs> really? <laughs> I ridiculous. Wow, fifth! <laughs> wow. Fifth place for Ireland in our first ever Torfera competition. But Hofstein, our bitter rival, has done even better. Yeah. Austin, congratulations, overall champion. Thank you. Do you think maybe your success well is due to the fact that we pushed you on? Probably, yeah. Were yeah. you threatened by us? Yes. <laughs> Did you have sleepless nights? Yeah, before you came. Before I came, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you will go so I can sleep again. Thanks, Ragnar, man. You're a star, star coach. It's all thanks yeah. to the coach. This you owe your trophy to the coach. Thanks. I give my trophy yeah, to Ragnar. Is, there is no trophy for, for no. lower than three. I hear this. <laughs> a bit of the car. Can I keep this? Yeah. You're keeping some of the car you smashed? <laughs> yeah. That's that's unreal. It's the fire.